Hi hey everyone, today I'm checking out the Toolbox Elite Plus. So this is a customizable controller that's designed to speed up creative workflows. In my case, I've been testing it with Lightroom on my Mac and an iPad, and I have found that whilst it does really well on the iMac, the iPad experience is a bit limited. So let's dive into what it is, what it's for, and what it's meant to do. So this device is called the Toolbox Elite Plus. It's one that I purchased myself. It wasn't provided to me. And really this is marketed as a compact Bluetooth controller. In effect, a keyboard for lack of a better term that has dials and buttons. And using an application on PC, Mac or iPad, it can map these various buttons and dials to different functions within applications. Now it does that one of two ways. The first way is that it can simulate keyboard presses. So you could use it as a shortcut and say, this left button is left on the keyboard, or I could use these for you know X, P and so on, that I can actually map to keyboard shortcuts. Now that's useful if there isn't a plugin to the application that comes with this device, which is called Toolbox Console. And Toolbox Console basically maps these things to various functions. So it has a range of presets. You can either use or create inbuilt presets for specific apps. You can import them from the internet, or you can create your own. And these can be tied to different applications. In my case, I've been looking at Toolbox really well with Lightroom and I've mapped the main dials for doing a range of things. The first in my Cullen preset allows me to basically zoom in and out so I can say, well, I want to look at this in this view or a grid view. I can zoom, I can jump forward, back, left, right. This is really just mapping the keyboard shortcuts. But when I zoom in, I can use this to say, well, I like this photo, I'm going to pick mark it as a pick and I'm also going to give it a five star rating but maybe this other photo I don't like don't like and I can immediately mark these as picks or rejects and really speed up my culling now the second thing that we can do with toolbox at least in Lightroom is that there are presets that integrate more seamlessly into Lightroom itself and you can see that these have already been mapped to various things. So what this app is doing is saying that, okay, if I turn the knob, I want to adjust selected slider. Or if I go down to these sections, if I click up on this, I want it to bring up a general menu of adjustments. So now that I'm in this, I can jump in and I can go up and now I've got that general menu. So I can adjust the temperature. I can go down and, and adjust the tint or exposure. And I can do all of this from a really tactile controller and very quickly power through these changes. Um, in this one, I'm doing highlights and all of the basics, but maybe actually I want to adjust calibration so I can adjust the tint, or maybe I want to control more of the sharpening. I can do all of that through this app as well and the integration directly through Lightroom. Now this is possible because there is a plugin that integrates with Lightroom Classic on the Mac and the PC. And that's how it's controlling lots of these different um, items within Lightroom from the Toolbox Elite Plus. Now I can change these, so I've left it on default, but I can always go into the app and say, well, instead of this side button being previous slide, I want it to do something else. And I can jump into Lightroom and say, maybe this one I want to um, turn on auto mode. So now if I jump into this same photo, I press the button and it's turned on auto. So you can see it's really, really customizable. I could turn on auto mode, tweak these really easily with just a few buttons. So I found on Mac, the toolbox integrated really well with Lightroom. And as I've shown, I was able to map this so that I could use the controller to help with culling, or I could also use it to do editing of the photo. And I did find this much quicker and easier than using a mouse and keyboard in reality. 
I did find it makes it a lot more fluid. You know, batch editing, all of these things, I don't have to reach for shortcuts because I can map them on here and do all of those things much easier. Now, whilst I've been really happy with the experience on the Mac, I did try it on the iPad. And I was really hopeful initially that I got this for the iPad because it has Bluetooth integration and an app. And I thought, well, I could use this to do lots of editing the same way I do on Lightroom with the iPad. So I could go in and, you know, adjust the temperature and, and all of these different things much, much easier on the iPad. And it would be much easier to do it this way. The application for Lightroom on the mat on the iPad really doesn't have a lot of integration with external things. So there are only a handful of shortcuts which allows you to pick and do tweaks to your photos, really basically just pick in flag in those sorts of things. And there isn't any support for plugins that give this the added functionality. So if you were looking at something like the Toolbox Elite Plus for the iPad, in reality, it doesn't stack up. Now, I hope that changes over time. I don't think that's a limitation of the toolbox specifically. I think that's a limitation of Lightroom because in testing out this device, I have been able to use LumaFusion and a range of different devices that this maps to much better. So I could use it to uh, cut videos and zoom in and jump forward and back and a whole range of different things that worked really, really well. But unfortunately, in Lightroom, it just didn't seem there yet. So if you were looking to buy this for making your workflow much better on the Lightroom on Mac or PC, admittedly, I've only tried it on Mac, but I understand PC is quite similar, then I think it is an interesting and quite a potentially useful tool. If you were looking at that for Lightroom on the iPad, I don't think it's anywhere near there yet. And I hope that changes in the future, but I guess time will tell. So as I said, there's a lot of benefit to this device and it does make editing more fluid, but not quite for iPad users, unless you're using an app with better shortcut support, the experience does feel a bit limited. So let me know in the comments if you've used this device in your work inflow. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more photography and editing content and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.